Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome to a new video. And I'm super excited today because a new event happened and I usually love covering the best and worst outfits. Well, not the worst, but just my favorite looks for an event night. If you haven't seen my channel before, I covered the Weibo Awards as well as the Golden Eagle Awards on my channel so you can Click on the link to my Sea Drama News playlist and scroll down to those videos if you haven't seen them already. And for the first time, I'm very impressed with how the male idols were dressed, probably because this is a magazine or a fashion event. Usually it's just monochromatic colors for the males or they're very basic with their suits But this time there's a lot of interesting and nice looks, but first let's talk about the female celebrities Let's first start with actress Yang Zi who showed up in this beautiful blue dress I'm liking the color approach for her these days. I hope she does get like a new hairstylist though or something because her hair is always the same but regardless, she looks really good here and she wore Doc Martens to keep her feet comfortable. There was also a trending moment that was a highlight for the event was when her GoGo -Go Squid co-star Li Shen gave her a thumbs up after seeing her shoes. I think it adds a lot of personality to it and I just love that she chooses comfort over style. Next, let's talk about actress Nini who was in this stunning black and pink Chanel dress. It's super classy, which is expected with Nini. She suits this look a lot and it's very fitted. It shows off her figure, especially with the plunging neckline. It just shows off her collarbones and she looks great. The next actress I'll talk about is Liu Shishi. She was in a classic dress as well with a veil. It really gave me Victorian era vibes. But personally, I've seen her in cuter dresses, but still, I still enjoyed this look because of her switching it up and having that classic veil. Without it, I think this look would have fall flat for me. Now here are Victoria Song's two looks. One is a frilly white dress, which shows off her feminine side, while the other one is a black one-shoulder dress with a belt. For me, I think of these two looks, I prefer the frilly doll look more. I think that this is unique for Victoria since she's usually either in monochromatic colors or pastel colors. Usually they are either a glammed up look or a chic look. So it's nice to see her in something new. Now let's talk about Gina Jin Chen who is stunning as always, but this isn't my favorite look for her. It's kind of plain in my opinion. Her makeup and hair is actually done to perfection though. She doesn't look bad, but it's not the best. Let's move on to Zhao Li Ying, who strikes again. She looks absolutely beautiful and she wore two very similar color dresses. The first one has a big wow factor to it with lots of beautiful details which you can tell if you zoom into her photos or look carefully. Her second dress makes her look bright and elegant. Now let's talk about Angela Baby, who looks like a fairy in her pink dress. This was the trending comment for her outfit. They said that she looks so beautiful, like a fairy from a children's novel. Compared to her other looks, which are super glam and out there. This is pretty laid back, but even though it's simple, she still looks pretty in it. That pretty much wraps up my thoughts for the female portions, but let me know your thoughts, your favorite look of the night, or some looks that weren't your favorite. Now let's move on to the male section. As for the men, let's start off with Bayou's two looks. His first one is this full on black on black ensemble. It's a suit, but there's chains and buttons. It makes him really look cool and stylish. I appreciate the little details. And his second look is a black and white pattern suit that looks really chic, but at the same time, it's really cool as well that he has a small gold chain. He looks youthful and 
chic at the same time. As for the other male celebrities, my favorite looks of the night are Jackson's, Bai Jing Ting's, and Simon Gong's or Gong Joon. So let's just start off there. Let's talk about Gong Joon. He was in this white Louis Vuitton suit with watercolor splatters all over him. And netizens pointed out online that he looks like a colorful butterfly. It's honestly such a unique look. I really like it. I've never seen it on any celebrities before or anything similar on any celebrities before. It's quite refreshing. And honestly, he really pulled this one off. As for Bai Jing Ting, he looks like a prince in the first suit. There's like little jewelry pins or charms all over his suit and he looks like absolute royalty. The second look was inspired by his drama, You Are My Hero, since he posted a photo of the outfit and referenced the drama. He definitely looks like a pilot or a captain. I absolutely love this one. And last but definitely not least is Jackson. And of course, I'm going to talk about all the highlights after. So Jackson showed up in this really nice ombre gray suit. And even though it's just a little bit of ombre, it really changes up the whole thing. And it really matches his hair color, which is blonde now. Jackson took home the Musician of the Year award. And he also performed his latest song. Speaking of Jackson, one of the best highlights was that his close friends Yang Zi and Bai Jingting were spotted backstage jamming out to his performance. Li Shen was also there dancing along too. I always love seeing celebrities interact and support each other. There's also this particular moment where Jackson is done performing and Bai Jingting screams, Wang Jia Er, I love you. I would give you my life. Then Jackson uses the mic to address it publicly and said, Xiao Bai, I love you too. I freaking love their friendship. A trending hashtag of the night also involving Jackson is that him and Zhang Xiaofei, who were sitting together, looked like a pair of wealthy siblings. They gave off this vibe and everyone was quickly agreeing. And after seeing the photos, I definitely agree as well. Jackson is literally on every show, he's interacting with everyone, so I'm not surprised that he makes a lot of friends in the acting industry. Hopefully this might mean that he might consider acting sometime in the future, but anyways, let's move on. Here is Li Shen's look for the night. He was in Chanel, where he had little pins on his suit. I thought that the little pins were so cute and they did jazz up the suit a little bit. Now that we've finished talking about the best looks and outfits, here's one of the most talked about moments of the night. So Yang Zi, Li Xian, and Zhao Li Ying all accepted the Popular Icon of the Year award. This is when Yang Zi's speech was trending since it was hilarious. She said, Hi everyone, this is Yang Zi. I'm very happy today, meeting so many people and good friends. Also, there's a lot of alcohol to drink too. I hope everyone can be happier together. Out of all of the female celebrities, I think she's probably one of the most casual or laid back ones. Her speeches, her captions, the way she talks is just super casual, relatable, and funny. But that's pretty much it for this event. Hopefully we get more events because I always love to do a recap on the best outfits and the highlights or funny moments and interactions between celebrities. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to all so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you next time. Bye.